Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, JDC family. My name is Jay. This is my Diecast Creations channel, and we're going to get straight into this. Derek from Honest Diecast asked me to show how to make a parking lot diorama. Very, very easy. Go to the dollar store, get that crafter's square self-adhesive cork. Get yourself a linoleum tile, 12 by 12, whatever size you want it to be. You can cut it down, match it up, peel off the backings on both of those, stick them together. No glue needed. Uh, very easy, right? Um, if you're going to cut it, make sure that you score it first and you know what you're doing with the razor knife because you can hurt yourself. The tar in that, that tile is kind of hard to cut, so you have to take your time. Make sure that you get it right and... Um, and don't hurt yourself, right? So basically, you you cut up the tile to the size that you want it. You cut the um, the cork to the size that matches. You stick them together. Bada bing, bada boom, right? Next thing you're gonna need, um, it, which is kind of optional, is Mod Podge, right? That's the thing that's gonna come up next. Um, it kind of just seals it, gives it a nice um, solid rigidity to the piece. Um, not necessary. You can go straight past this step if you wanted to um the cool thing about the tiles is you can make them any shape and size that you want right and then you can link them together do what you want to do with it there you go um next thing i do is i spray it with this flat black rust-oleum you can use any black that you want preferably flat though because it is pavement that you're trying to recreate i hit it with like two or three coats of that um, just to cover up the brown look to the cork and um, let that dry completely and then I go in with uh, 50 cent paints from Walmart apple barrel paints this is pavement um, I go in with a wet brush and I kind of just cover up the black and leave some black spots because you want it to have some contrast you know pavement is you know has light spots and dark spots so Next thing is Elephant Gray I use, which is still an apple barrel paint, 50 cents, and I go in with a dry brush. And I will leave a link in the description to BP Custom Creations. He explains how to use the techniques on how to, um, how to build roads, right? It's the same, same idea. Um, so I'll leave that down in the description. Very helpful. And go check his channel out. Next thing is I take painter's tape and I line out the lines. Now, I opted to make a drag strip. I haven't made a parking lot yet, but it's the same idea, right? You measure out where you want it to be, you lay down your lines, you take this apple barrel white, and you stipple it. You do not swipe the brush. You stipple it like a dabbing motion, and you let that dry. You can even pull up the tape before it dries, um, which might keep it from tearing the, the pigment, right? And then this is an optional step as well. You take the Rust-Oleum Matte Clear Coat, and you seal the thing. I like to do it because the rubber on the, the tar rubber on those tiles has a stickiness to it. And it, it protrudes out the sides. So if you hit it with that clear coat, it seals it. And you got nothing to worry about. It makes it a nice finalized piece with your, um, with your different uh, pavement looks to it. You can make it lighter or darker or whatever you want. You can even make it black top if you wanted to. Um, and this is just an example of, of one of the little, little dioramas that I made, which is made on a thicker cork, but it's the same idea. I lined out a, a sideline and uh, hash marks as, as it was uh, a road, right? But you do the same thing for a parking lot. You line it out how you want. Maybe you have to lay one line and then let that dry and then line out the spots. But, um, you know, use your imaginations, make it happen, have fun with it. The best thing about it is if you mess up, you can just spray it black again and start from scratch. Um, I hope this video was valuable to you guys. If you did like it, leave me a comment, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.